everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Uh, we are gonna go back to the area that we came from where I think there may be a boss behind the giant doors. I don't know, actually, um, it could be a boss. It could just be, whoa, shit. That was sketchy. Um, it could just be another area and that would be great too because we just actually fought a boss. The chances of them being that close together, pretty slim. Also, um, big screw up at the end of the last episode where we lost our ring. And I, I guess, you know what, that's why we had it, in case we make a mistake and didn't lose all our souls. But this is a pretty big, this is a pretty big risk. I'm gonna see if I can take this thing down. Come here. There we go. Hit me. Oh, shit! I'm just gonna leave these guys be. I'm trying to save souls here. Um, we need to get to 20,000. This is not a crew that I'm, like, really feeling like we should be fighting, but you know what? We don't back down. Okay. Well, we might end up backing down. Fuck, this guy doesn't stagger. He's a giant dick. Oh shit. Oh shit, we're in the rat den. We are in the rat den. Fuck this. Woohoo! Alright, that was great. Just fight or flight response kicked in, and well, you know which one I picked. This guy's got the same idea. Whoever that is. I'm tempted. Oh, he's coming up! Oh, what the shit?! Anybody else? Yeah, didn't think so. Okay. Now, we'll probably throw down an ember here just in case this doesn't go as planned. This is where we found the blind girl, and then her uh, protector or something was out here saying, and great, he's now gone. Uh, but he was basically saying that if we, if something happens to her, then he will no longer be our ally. But until that point, then he's our ally. And now we have this to check, so let's ember up. And prepare. No, maybe. Maybe? Quagmire ahead. Is that? Got an elevator situation happening. Uh, hey, we've seen this guy. We know this guy. Hmm. Isn't he like Sig some mm. Sigmund or something? Hmm. Hmm. That's it. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Pardon me. I was absorbed in thought. Okay. I am Siegbert of Siegbert. I think I was close. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Yeah, yeah we have. Well, a few times. if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Oh. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. Okay. But I have to find a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, you just came up, though. Well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. 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 Okay. Well, that's cool. So he's back. Uh, the guy launching the arrows, that's actually this tower, it turns out, which is pretty cool. This lift, oh, with a little warming up, eventually... With a little warming up. No. No. I've got to use my head and think. How would we get this to reverse? We've got uh, this here, but I can't do anything with it. This lift. Okay, well, let's get on here. It is going down, like he said. Into what, though? There's another uh, lever here, but nope. These are not happening. Uh-oh. Have we made a terrible mistake? 
Bonfire ahead. Critical foe ahead. Try dashing. Okay. If we can get to a bonfire. Ooh. Oh shit! Holy fuck! He's fast as shit! Please open. Yes. He's gonna kick my ass! Oh, look at this! This is perfect! Could we ask for a better bonfire to be happening right now? That is cool. Road of Sacrifices. Okay, so what we can do... Uh, we could try and kill that thing. And then... I don't know how many souls that's worth. Oh shit, what is this now? There's some souls down there. We could pop a bunch of souls. We could maybe clear out some of these guys. And then that might net us the 20,000. Whoa! What the fuck just happened there? What?! They're strong too. And not worth a lot. Um, okay. Well... Let's see if we can't kill this guy. Can I sneak up on him? Fuck you! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Will he come out here? No, he's not. I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do this. He won't come out here. That's freaking dirty. I don't care. Yeah, let's just pretend I left. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, he's still kind of like patrolling. We have a little standoff happening here. I don't think we're gonna reach. I could use arrows and just try and hammer. Holy shit. This is totally cheese, but I mean, let's be honest. Would you fuck with this thing? Oh, we're just gonna rack him with arrows. Maybe. Come on. Oh, we need to regenerate our stamina. Oh! He's right pissed. As he should be. This is gonna be, uh, heavily criticized. I'm sure. But you know what? Oh, shit! If we can get a freebie like this, I'm taking it. Get that guy. That was a great tip that we got. An Irithyll straight sword. Did not expect to get a weapon out of that. Uh, Irithyll, Irithyll straight sword. It's pretty good. It's got a lot of guard absorption, but we don't really block a lot uh, with the sword. Straight sword bestowed upon the Outrider Knights of the Boreal Valley. This weapon is enshrouded in frost and causes frostbite. Every Outrider Knight one day devolves into a beast, constantly hounded by Pontus Sullivan's black eyes. So that used to be an Outrider Knight. While in stance, use normal attack to break the guard, and then strong attack to finish. Um, we could try it. I mean, it's less damage. Um, but, it does frost, so that could be pretty cool. Uh, we got a nice chunk of souls from him, too. Okay, no, this is fine. We can get, like, three... How many attacks can we get in? Actually, we can get a, a nice chunk of attacks in. Against these guys, that could be good, because it took four. We might need all five swings. Yeah, I, 
out of feeling. There we go. A shriving stone. This is new. What exactly is that? Undo. Oh! You can undo weapon infusion. That's cool. Has the benefit of undoing the effects of infusion without reducing the reinforcement level. So we can level up to whatever we want and then uninfuse and then I imagine we could reinfuse with something else and keeping all of that um, keeping all that going. Now I don't know how far off we are if we were to include these souls. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pop these all. This is like I would not advise doing this. This is really not the right strategy here, but we're just gonna do it. Eight hundred. Okay, we're actually a lot closer than I thought. Okay, so we need like we need like thirty five hundred souls here. Let's do this, shall we? Oh, oh, see something big up there. I'm gonna grab this. Let's go ahead and pop that. Nice, nice. 2700? <laughs> Shit. More. Alright, well, I mean, if we can catch them all before they change. Ooh, look at the path down there. I see it. What is that, like? constant noise that's happening in the background. And why did this bring us out here? Maybe to show us that path? We could really screw this up if we're not careful. I really want to get that key. I think that would be fun. And actually, I think we can carry both now. Are we under the... Uh, we're just over, but you know what? That's fine, probably. See what you got. Oh yeah. It's respectable. Arrow's too good. Oh shit. Wait, what is that about? What the fuck? What is that, like, cloud? It's probably bad for us. Whoa, and we're all close to the edge. Look how many people have probably fallen down here. Be wary of message. Yep, not going for it. But this is, in fact, that path. Oh, but if we drop down... Let's check the other side first. This is- I love this kind of stuff, where we just get to, like, a brand new area and check shit out. Like, that's the best. Uh, oh, we might have to go that way. Yep. That's... okay. We're freaking committed. We do have Homeward Bones, right? And I'm actually gonna equip one in case things get gnarly here. Because I am gonna drop down. I know there's some above us. Treasure ahead. Yeah, sure. Who's this? Or what's this? Oh, strong! Oh, fuck. Is this gonna- Oh, no. Okay. We can do this. Back shit up! Oh, no. Fuck, that's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad.
We gotta get rid of this bow. It's hampering us. It's making us slow as shit. Let's go. Nice block, I'll give you that. Oh, fuck! Oh! Fuck. That did shit all. Eat dicks! Okay. We're like right on the frickin' cusp here. Butcher's knife. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck this longbow now. Butcher's knife. Definitely strength. Butcher's knife with an oddly large blade wielded by the madwoman haunting the road of sacrifices. Squarely landed hits restore HP. Back in the end of the settlement, the woman acquired a taste for human flesh of which she took glee in partaking. Sharpening the blade increases HP, restore it. Oh, that's why she kept doing that. Now I gotcha. Okay, cool. Well, seems we can carry on at least, so... Uh, we're going to go around the corner, and... Hopefully... Yeah, there's treasure. Let's be careful. A brigand axe. Axe favored by brigands of a distant land. Surprisingly sturdy battle axe that requires more strength to wield than a standard axe. Let's out a spirit of war cry that boosts attack. That's cool. I can get into that. I'm digging the frost sword right now. Brigand hood, armor, gauntlets. I actually wouldn't mind switching out our hood. Um, we can get great physical defense. How do we look? Not bad. Not the best. Not the worst. Uh, still our starting armor is like the best that we've had. That's a bit surprising. Uh, in terms of physical damage, anyways. We could go bring in gauntlets. And then... We could do... Tr trousers aren't as good, actually. We're better off with the night leggings. That's true, we have the night leggings on. And as long as we don't get surprised here, this could... Oh, cool. Brigand twin daggers? Uh, no. Not cool. It's daggers. I was thinking, like, short swords, but, like, you know, not this short. <laughs> when two-handed, the wielder holds a blade in each hand, allowing for divergent attacks and include left... Handed moves, instantly step behind or around the side of foes, effective when locked onto target. So that's cool. It's just not really, it's not my style, you know? But, thankfully, we killed that thing. It was close there for a second. We need, like, a couple more kills, and then... And then everything's peachy. Whoa, whoa! What the fuck's happening? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why? What is happening? Uh-oh. Something's happening. This is bad. Okay, so tabbing out and tabbing back in uh, worked. We're back. I thought we were going to run right off the ledge there. I don't know what the frick happened. We got stuck in some kind of loop. Is this guy really down? I don't believe it. Yeah. All that shit. All right, well, we'll get to you later. Another Titanite Shard. We got some upgrades that I think we can start doing to our boss weapon. Oh, no, actually, we don't need shards. I think we need chunks of that. Uh, 
that'll do. Are they both coming out here? Or will one? I don't know what that thing in the back does. That's the second one that we've seen. It was blowing that purple smoke before. I don't... Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Raise the message. I gotta stop doing that, too. Try below. It does look like there's a space there to jump down. Oh, fuck. There's a bunch of these guys. I'm worried about what that fog's gonna do. It's probably some type of, like, status effect that I don't want to deal with. Let's bring these guys over here. Somewhere I can't quite fall off. Shit! Oh no! Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. We're getting those back. Everything's fine. Everything's cool. Come here, you asshole. I need to kill a few more of you anyway. I remember where your cousin is. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah, these guys, they need to be killed instantly. If one of them gets you, you're toast. Or if two of them get you, I mean, you're... There's nothing that you can do about it. Shift! And actually, by the time we get back to our souls, if we get back to our souls, this could work out fine. Do it! What do I got here? I can't roll far. Oh, I missed! Totally overcommitted. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm feeling the pressure right now. One more, one more! Now let's try and dodge around this shit. Ooh, that's... that's new. Adventurous. Get away from the edge! Everything's fine. Jesus. This is like... This is too much right now. Okay. Hopefully the chick with the butcher knife doesn't come back. Yes! Uh, to the shrine! Okay. Let's buy that key. Why am I not even paying attention to her? Oh, how may I'd like to buy the key from you, this one. Key to the dilapidated tower behind the shrine. Done. Passion one. Huh. Done. Now, if this is the one I'm thinking that it is... I'm imagining it's this tower. Right? This looks towery. Come on now. Yes! What is it? This better be worth it. Damn. It's 
really nice. Okay, so... Uh, that's the rooftop. There's the ladder down there. We could maybe drop down, but... Let's see what else is happening. There's another lever that I can't use, but there is a switchblade here. Whoa. Oh, fuck. We have nothing to lose now at this point, though, so that's cool. Okay, this is like... We're getting up here. Of course, we have to go this way just to see, you know, if anything. Oh, look at the... That's where we fought our first boss. We have a bonfire over there and the one in the pit. We've come so far since then. Probably could have just walked around the other way at this point. And... Oh, son of a bitch. Nothing? Why would they do that to us? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to take a break here. And uh, when we return, we're going to explore the rest of this tower area. It looks like we can still go up. And then maybe on the way down, we'll try and drop down to the, um, to the uh, rooftop. Because we know we have a ladder there. Why there's a ladder there, I'm not sure. Because we have an exit point through the tower. So I'm not sure how that's going to play in. But regardless, uh, that's going to be the plan. So... Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me. This is great. I'm really... For people that have been wondering um, how Dark Souls 3 compares to the other Dark Souls, I think it's, like, quite honestly, it's the best Dark Souls. Not just because it's new, but it, like, feels right. It just feels really good. And for me, Dark Souls games are about feel, like the weight of the weapons, the smoothness. Like, it's optimized to play on a computer now, which is, like, fantastic. Um... It just feels really good, so if you guys are patiently waiting, then, um, you know, I think you're going to be very happy. Anyways, see you next time. Bye.